Hello Freaking Sheiks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joanna. I don't know what day of clowns it is, but I'm going to be turning myself into the clown doll from the Poltergeist movie. This guy. This character has light blue eyes, so I'm starting with a shimmery light blue eyeshadow from the Neon Brights eyeshadow palette and putting that on my lids. Here I am giving myself a bit of a clown mouth using the Ulta Beauty lipstick that I've been using a lot of these videos. I believe the color is called Brilliant. I outlined the red lipstick with white spared Halloween grease paint and now I'm outlining that white with black spared Halloween face paint. I think outlining was a bad idea because this makeup is a little messy, um, but the original clown had everything outlined, so so did I. I added these two little lines above my cheeks to try to make it look like my cheeks were bigger, like the big smile, like, because that's the expression the clown doll has. I added the lines above my eyes because one, this character has a lot of white in their eye makeup, but I don't have good white eyeshadow, so I thought that would bring in more white, and two, more lines I thought would be more clown-like. If you see glitter, um, that's because I originally tried to outline with a glitter eyeliner, but then I realized it's not very pigmented, it's just shiny, so I went for face paint instead because that's much more pigmented you can you can see that this is actually really cute eye makeup i like this i do have on two puffs of lash extensions by the brand kiss i have on my red wig again this is getting quite a lot of use this month here's my giant pajama cap hat thing <laughs> It's made out of cardboard and acrylic paint. This is huge and quite comical. Full outfit! Another cardboard accessory. This is quite large. I don't think I needed to go that big, but it's the star that the clown has in the center of their shirt. Underneath the star, I have on this light blue tank top. The clown is actually a lot darker blue. I didn't have that, so I went for light blue instead because that was the closest I could do. And then underneath the tank top, I have on this, I've worn this before in another video, this poofy long sleeve shirt that I just brought the wristband all the way up to the shoulder and then tucked in some of the fabric into said wristband. So it kind of gives the illusion of puffy sleeves. If I could get the fabric back in the elastic, that'd be fantastic. That was so many icks. There we go. Okay, yeah. So it gives the illusion of puffy sleeves because the clown has puffy sleeves. For my clown collar, I have on this very shimmery scarf because the clown has the really long, like, triangle-shaped clown collar that lays down over its chest, and it's also a shimmery fabric, so I thought this would work in place of that so I didn't actually have to make a clown collar. White tutu. I've been using this quite a lot for clowns. And lastly, I have on my white and red striped gloves and white and red striped tights. I am not wearing shoes again because I don't, I was gonna say I don't have shoes that work with this outfit, but yes I do, I can use my red converse. But this clown doesn't wear shoes, so neither am I. You know, I thought the makeup would come out looking really bad because of how messy it is, but like with the full outfit on, I'm not mad at it. And again, no surprise, I think this outfit is quite cute. It's giving very Christmassy again. And the squishy clown nose that for some reason I can actually breathe in today. Maybe I'm like wearing it at a slightly different placement on my nose. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of me, click the link in the description box. That'll bring you to my Instagram, other Instagram, TikTok, and a whole bunch of other stuff involving me. If you want to see more clowns, tune back in tomorrow for another 31 day of clown video. And I'll see you then.